Have you ever wondered what it really takes for a country to protect its waters in today's unpredictable world of naval threats and maritime disputes? How does a modern navy find the right balance between speed, stealth, and firepower, all packed into a single vessel that can respond to anything from humanitarian missions to high-intensity conflict? These are the kinds of questions that come to mind when we take a closer look at the BRP Antonio Luna, designated FF-151, one of the most advanced and formidable frigates currently serving under the Philippine Navy. Named after General Antonio Luna, a brilliant Filipino military strategist during the Philippine Revolution, this warship is not just a piece of floating steel, it's a symbol of national pride, resilience, and the country's evolving role in maritime security across Southeast Asia. At its core, the BRP Antonio Luna is a Jose Rizal-class guided missile frigate, a product of South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries, which constructed the ship as part of the Philippines' modernization program. The goal behind its development was clear. Provide the Philippine Navy with a modern, multi-role platform capable of defending territorial waters, conducting anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare, and supporting international peacekeeping efforts. Measuring 107 meters in length, with a beam of 14 meters and a displacement of around 2,600 tons, the ship may not be the largest frigate in the region, but it certainly makes up for it with its versatile design and cutting-edge systems. When it comes to performance, the BRP Antonio Luna does not disappoint. Powered by a combined diesel and diesel CODAD propulsion system, it can achieve a top speed of around 25 knots, giving it the agility and speed necessary to respond quickly to threats or emergencies. Its cruising range is about 4,500 nautical miles at 15 knots, which means it can operate extensively in the Philippine archipelago and even participate in regional or international missions without needing constant refueling. This endurance is especially important for a country like the Philippines, which has vast maritime territories and is often at the center of regional maritime disputes. But what makes the Antonio Luna truly remarkable is not just its speed or range, but the sophisticated array of systems and weapons it carries on board. For surface warfare, the ship is equipped with the Odo Malara 76mm Super Rapid Gun, a powerful and reliable naval cannon capable of engaging surface ships, aircraft, and even incoming missiles at close range. Complementing this is a set of remote-controlled weapon systems and heavy machine guns for close in defense. For long-range firepower, the ship has the space and design provisions to carry surface-to-surface -surface missiles, giving it the ability to strike adversaries beyond visual range. For air defense, the frigate is designed to integrate vertical launch systems in the future, although even in its current state, it is armed with surface-to-air missile capabilities to counter aerial threats. One of the standout features of the BRP Antonio Luna is its anti-submarine warfare capability. It is equipped with two triple torpedo tubes and can operate an embarked naval helicopter, such as the A-159 Wildcat, which dramatically extends its detection and strike range against submarines. This helicopter is armed with sensors, dipping sonars, and torpedoes of its own, making the ship a serious submarine hunter in the region. Combined with a towed array sonar system and advanced radar, the frigate has the sensors it needs to detect, track, and neutralize undersea threats, an essential function in modern naval warfare. Beyond weaponry, the ship's design also emphasizes survivability and stealth. The BRP Antonio Luna features a low radar cross-section profile, meaning its angular design helps reduce its visibility to enemy radars. Its superstructure and hull are shaped to minimize detection, making it harder to target during combat. Furthermore, its electronic warfare suite provides it with the ability to detect, deceive, and counter incoming missiles or electronic attacks, giving it another layer of defense that goes beyond brute firepower. Inside, the ship is just as modern. It comes with advanced command and control systems that allow seamless integration of sensors, weapons, and communications. This means the crew can make fast, informed decisions during operations, whether they're coordinating a humanitarian mission after a natural disaster or tracking multiple hostile targets in a combat scenario. With a complement of about 65 officers and sailors, plus additional capacity for aircrew and mission specialists, the BRP Antonio Luna is operated by a relatively lean but highly trained crew, reflecting the ship's emphasis on automation and modern technology. The role of the BRP Antonio Luna goes far beyond just combat. It's also a platform for international cooperation and regional security, 
The frigate has already participated in joint naval exercises with allies such as the United States, Japan, and Australia, strengthening the Philippines' role as a key player in ensuring peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific. In humanitarian missions, the ship's endurance, speed, and onboard facilities also make it capable of delivering aid, medical support, and disaster relief in times of crisis, something that is critically important for a nation frequently struck by typhoons and earthquakes. Another unique selling point of the Antonio Luna is what it represents for the Philippines' armed forces. For decades, the Philippine Navy relied on aging, World War II-era ships donated by allies. With the acquisition of modern frigates like Antonio Luna, the Navy is finally stepping into the 21st century, matching up with other regional navies and projecting an image of strength and modernization. This transformation not only boosts morale within the armed forces but also sends a clear message to the international community that the Philippines is serious about defending its maritime rights and contributing to regional security. As we reflect on the BRP Antonio Luna, it becomes clear that this frigate is more than just steel and firepower. It is a vessel that embodies the Philippines' journey from a modest naval force to one that can confidently navigate the complex waters of modern security.